Gus, we'll get your assessment on the season for the Dogs shortly, but as a final, mm. how did you rate that one yesterday? Oh, it's pulsating, wasn't it? It was absolutely brilliant. I mean, there's been nothing between those two teams all year. I think they only finished a point apart on the Premiership ladder and only about a point apart part in for and against for the whole season. But, um, you know, Bulldogs really came to play, uh, but Manly showed their grit in the end and had to dig very, very deep to get the win. Um, in the end, it came down to one conversion kick, uh, four tries each and uh, three brilliant goals to the, to the Manly side. And uh, unfortunately, Bulldogs only kicked three. So there wasn't much between the sides at all. Um, I was really proud of the Bulldogs' performance because never at any stage during the game did I feel like they were getting overrun or feel like they were going to lose? It felt like they were going to hang on. There's plenty of little things we didn't do, but to be honest, at this stage of their development, I didn't expect them to do that. I didn't expect them... You know, some of the things that they'll learn for that are just going to be priceless in years to come and for their own careers. But um, very, very proud of them. I thought they were outstanding. They've had a great year, but they finished it in the right way. If that's the way our season ends, well, then we can be proud of that. And Gal, we seem to get reminded every September about the value of experience. And when it mattered yesterday, whether it's the, the, the collar try where it starts with DCE, gets then to turbo and then across the back line, or uh, from the Dogs' perspective, even when they were going for those two-point field goals, there was that sense of, uh, of panic there. Yeah, I spoke about it before the game. Before the game, we, we mentioned it. I think we only had like 2,200 games of experience and the Dogs only just over 1,000. So I think it definitely does matter, particularly in big moments and big games and big occasions. That, and that was a big occasion. You've got to remember the Dogs have played in probably in front of maybe 20,000 people maximum throughout the year. They've played in front of 50,000 people at a crowd like like that. It was so intense. Uh, and, and I agree with Gus, for 73 minutes, they didn't look like losing it. They played so well. They, the way they defended, the way their line speed was amazing for the entire game. Other, other, other than when that try was scored, they probably fell away a little bit then, come with a couple of errors at the back end of the game. But I just thought their effort for the majority of the game was so good. And I, look, I, I think this dog side, for the squad they had, I, I think they overachieved this year. And, and then that's not a, a knock on them at all. That's a, a huge rub to their coaching staff and the job the players did. I, when I compare that roster, if I compare that roster to, say, the Roosters, who we all probably agree, maybe not the best team, but probably had the best roster, I think you look at Stephen Crichton probably makes their side, probably has to move to the left centre because they're going to keep Joey Money on the right. Maybe Burton because he's kicking game. And even Kickout struggled to get in, get in, get in front of Crichton, the, the other Crichton, so Angus Crichton. So I think the job they've done is absolutely amazing this season. And I'll take my hat off to him. You had Satili Tupanua next year, the experience these guys will get. And I, I think that there's good things ahead for the Bulldogs. I think a sign of the inexperience, just where it comes in little moments, Manly scored three fifth tackle tries, all different. Um, and it's in those plays where experience counts and inexperience can come against you. And it's just understanding that until, that, until you get that ball back on tackle five, the player's not dead. And it's three fifth tackle tries. They defended brilliantly all day. Three fifth tackle tries, all different, um, that conceded it. And that was the difference between winning and losing for them. But uh, there wasn't a Bulldog player that I thought didn't cover himself in glory. And uh, this matched what they did during the season. You know, they... They went through a patch in the middle of the year there where they played all the teams in contention, played them week in, week out. They went to Townsville, they went to Brisbane, they went to Bundaberg, they went to New Zealand and they won them all. And it was just brilliant. And um, they deserved their place in the finals and they played accordingly. I thought that if that's the way they're going to lose their season, then that was a great way to do it.